Another twist in the Lance Armstrong doping story. Cheryl Crow, who was dating Armstrong during two of his seven Tour de France victories, was apparently in the room when he discussed lying about his steroid use with former teammates, according to Celeb Buzz. In Armstrong's recent lengthy confessional interview with Oprah, he made no mention of his ex-fiancee, Cheryl Crow, although this latest report implies that she was well aware of his doping. In 2010, she did agree to be interviewed by authorities, um, and so she was somehow, uh, she was cooperative in the past. She didn't give an affidavit, but she did um, provide, according to the Wall Street Journal, a couple of details about the doping scandal. Um, but, you know, when you see her in interviews, I think last fall she was on Katie Couric and she mm. just said um, she felt bad for Lance Armstrong and she kind of had the same reaction as the rest we of America. We actually she's, have that clip. I just want to show that clip. Let's take a look at what she said this past summer. Meanwhile, I know it was a, a tough summer for Lance Armstrong. You mm. guys were together for three years. You mm -hmm. were engaged at one point. What was it like watching this whole saga unfold for him from mm. your perspective? Well, um, I haven't seen Lance in, in a few years, but it was hard. You know, I, he's somebody I really care about. Um, I rely on his foundation. I call there probably once or twice a month and ask Doug Ullman, who runs uh, Live Strong, for names of doctors. I know how hard he worked to win those titles, and it was hard to watch. You know, I, I, uh, I felt bad. I felt bad for him. I felt bad for his family, and um, I, I kind of felt like the rest of America. What kind of responsibility does a, does a fiancé celebrity have Right. In a scenario like that. Right. Um, I mean, first I'd like to say I think that there's like a disproportionate amount of attention on Cheryl Crow just because she's a celebrity herself. Like sure. naturally, probably in the grand scheme of things, she's at the bottom of the list in terms of co-conspirators and people that could be um, sort of found um, complicit in this. But secondly, I think that, you know, if she knew anything, there's the anti-doping, the world anti-doping code. Um, and if she knew anything, and if she were found to be guilty of covering up or not saying anything, she could potentially be fined, um, you know, by the USDA.